In today's video, we'll be discussing how cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, can help individuals with obsessive compulsive disorder, commonly known as OCD. We'll focus on the technique of exposure and response prevention, or ERP, which is specifically designed to target OCD symptoms. To start, let's talk about what OCD is. Obsessive compulsive disorder is a mental health condition characterized by recurrent unwanted thoughts or mental images called obsessions and repetitive behaviors or mental acts called compulsions. Some common obsessions include excessive fears of germs, intrusive violent or sexual thoughts, and extreme concern with orderliness. Compulsions can involve excessive hand washing, repeated checking, or compulsive counting. OCD can have a significant impact on daily life, affecting relationships, work, and overall well-being. It's essential to understand that OCD is fueled by cognitive distortions or faulty patterns of thinking, which drive the obsessions and compulsions. Now that we know a bit about OCD, let's discuss Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT. CBT is a form of psychotherapy that helps individuals recognize and change negative thought patterns and behaviors. It's based on the idea that our thoughts, feelings, and actions are interconnected, and that by changing one, we can influence the others. CBT has been proven effective in treating various mental health disorders, including anxiety, depression, and of course, OCD. So how does CBT help people with OCD? That's where exposure and response prevention, or ERP, comes in. ERP is a specific CBT technique designed to target the symptoms of OCD. It involves gradually exposing individuals to their feared thoughts or situations while helping them resist the urge to perform their compulsive behaviors. The goal is to break the cycle of obsessions and compulsions, ultimately reducing anxiety and distress. Exposure is crucial in breaking the OCD cycle because it allows individuals to confront their fears in a safe and controlled environment. Response prevention, on the other hand, helps to reduce compulsive behaviors by teaching individuals to resist the urge to engage in them. Research has shown that ERP can be highly effective in treating OCD with long-lasting results. So how does ERP work in practice? First, you'll need to identify your obsessions and compulsions and then create a hierarchy of fears, ranking them from least to most anxiety-provoking. This hierarchy will guide your exposure exercises. There are two main types of exposure, in vivo exposure and imaginal exposure. In vivo exposure involves facing the feared situation or object in real life, while imaginal exposure entails vividly imagining the feared situation. With the help of a therapist or through self-help, you'll gradually work your way up the hierarchy, practicing exposure and response prevention at each level. Let's look at an example. Imagine someone with a fear of germs and an excessive hand-washing compulsion. They might start by touching a doorknob and resisting the urge to wash their hands. Gradually, they'll move on to more anxiety-provoking situations, such as touching a public restroom sink, until they can comfortably face their fears without engaging in compulsive hand-washing. Working with a trained therapist is often recommended for ERP, but there are also self-help resources available for those who prefer to work independently. The key is to be consistent and committed to the process, as progress can take time and practice. Now that we know how ERP works, let's discuss some tips for success. Firstly, it's essential to establish realistic expectations. Remember that progress may be slow, and that's okay. Be patient with yourself and trust the process. Secondly, consistency is crucial. Practice ERP regularly, even when it's challenging, to see lasting results. And finally, don't hesitate to seek support from loved ones or join support groups. Sharing your experiences and learning from others can make the journey easier. In addition to ERP, there are other CBT techniques that can help individuals with OCD. Cognitive restructuring involves identifying and challenging cognitive distortions or faulty thought patterns, while mindfulness and acceptance techniques can help you develop a non-judgmental awareness of your thoughts and feelings, allowing them to come and go without engaging in compulsive behaviors. Habit reversal training is another technique used to address compulsive behaviors. 
It involves becoming aware of triggers and replacing the compulsive behavior with a healthier alternative, such as deep breathing or muscle relaxation. Remember that progress may be slow, but with patience, consistency, and commitment, you can improve your quality of life. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more mental health content. See you in the next video.